You're on. Okay, so this is problem 36 from chapter 4. So when the problem were given force on a body as a function of time, f equal to ct squared, where c is a constant, then we're given the initial velocity is zero, then we're given that the object has a mass of m. And what we have to do is we have to find the velocity and the position of the object as a function of time. So, first off, starters, we use f is equal to ma to find the instantaneous acceleration as a function of time. So from here, we can get acceleration instantaneously, ct squared over m. And now, using the basic definition of acceleration, which we know is a is equal to dv dt, we can get dv is equal to a dt. And then, after that, we integrate on both sides, which gives integral dv is equal to integral a dt. And now, the limits of integration for velocity are going to be initial velocity and final velocity. But we know that the initial velocity is zero, so we'll write zero here. And we have to find the final velocity, so we'll write v over here. And then for acceleration, um, well, we're integrating with respect to time. So for time, we start at zero, and we go to t. So now it's just basically converted into a math problem. And we just integrate dv. So integral dv will be v evaluated at 0 and v is equal to, we know a as a function of t from here. So we just plug that in with your ct squared over m dt. Now, what we can do is we evaluate this integral over here. V zero and v is equal to integral zero to t. We can take c over m outside of the integral. There's their constant, and then t square dt. And now v evaluated at v minus v evaluated at zero will just be v is equal to c of m. And then we know that the integral of t square is t cubed over 3 evaluated at 0 and t. Therefore, we get v as a function of t, c or m, into t cubed over 3. And so hence, v is equal to c t cubed over 3 m. And there you have it, v as a function of t. That's it? Now, for the second part, I'll just save the answer for B, and I'll just erase the rest of this stuff. Okay. Do you want to erase like that little bit over there? I'll just copy that stuff over here. So I can wait, 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 one second, one second. Oh, OK. We can do that. So now we have to find x as a function of t for the second part. So. We know that x is equal to, we know that, sorry, v is equal to dx over dt. So we can say v dt is equal to dx. And now, integrating on both sides, the limit of integration here will be 0 to t. And for x, it is going to be 0 to x. Now, for integral v dt, it's, you plug in the value for v of t that you got over here, which is ct cubed over 3m dt is equal to, integral dx will just be x, is at 0 and x. So now, just continuing the calculations, from the left-hand side, we can just take out c over 3m common with constant, so we can take it out of the integral, and 0 to t, t cubed dt is equal to x evaluated at x minus x evaluated at 0, which is just x. And then we get t over 3m into the integral of t cubed is t raised to 4 divided by 4, x divided at 0, and t is equal to x. So we get c over 3m into t raised to 4 divided by 4 
is equal to x. So this gives us the final answer. x is equal to c equals c raised to 4 divided by 12n. And there you have it.